So why is it that only Ganges water is offered to Krishna yes. and not Jamuna? Yes. Why is that? Because that is, that is transcendental water. There's not ordinary water. Ganges. Ganges. That comes out from the toe of Lord Hari. You understand? But why we don't <coughs> offer Jamuna water to Krishna? It's not. You see, Jamuna water is purified because Krishna performs the signs there. Jamuna, Krishna prayers. You understand? Jamuna is very dear to Krishna. Mm. And Jamuna uh, Ganges, coming directly from the water, it is transcendental water, not material water. You understand? Material water, you see, as scientists say, oxygen, hydrogen, you mix it and you get water. That water is not Ganges water. Good. If you put water in some place for a few weeks, some jobs will be done in the But in Ganges water you never find something. Let's together you put in a house. Always. Nice. Fresh water. It's transcendental water, not material water. Water is an element, material element. Keep up the as a moral yoga. Out means water. By many elements. Isn't it? Keep the earth as more of them. Earth, water, fire, fire, fire. That you say. Hmm? But Ganges water is not that water. When Krishna performed his pastimes in Yamuna, so Yamuna. It is considered to be very, very fortunate. You understand? So, Ganges was sorry. Well, I couldn't get the opportunity to serve the Lord, Supreme Lord. So, Supreme Lord Hari fulfilled her desire when he came as Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Manifested his pastimes in the month of Samhan, Yamuna, and Sri Ganges, and Mayapur, Mahabhu, and So, your question is why you only offer Ganges? Yes. And not Jamuna. What yes. was your question? Ah, yes. Why? I, that I said. It's, oh, it's transcendental water coming from the toe of Lord Hari. But Ganges water. But Jamuna? Jamuna is not. Jamuna water is ordinary water. Ah. Not transcendental water. Ch- yes. <coughs> Ganges water outwardly, it looks muddy. It looks muddy. But Jamuna water looks very nice, blue water. But Ganges water looks muddy. But you keep it in mud portion will go down, fresh water comes out. Therefore, advice instruction is there, don't see mud in Ganges water. You understand? Similarly, don't see anything bad in a Vaishnav. Agrali a Vaishnav. May be seen like that and if not a sadhana. Because Vaishnava has two things, real Vaishnava sadhana, Rupa and Vanchan, mercy and cheating. Che? Cheating? Yes. Vaishnava cheats also. Those who never come to him for the purpose of getting Krishna, for other purpose he cheats them. <laughs> Vajjana. You understand? But those who come um, on one purpose to get Krishna, so they are never cheated. They get mercy. So Vaishnava Sadhu has two things, mercy and cheating. You understand? So ultimately, you cannot uh, 
recognize this or say that this behavior is something different which doesn't seem to be sharp. That's cheating. Therefore, this common saying is there. Vaisnava Kriya Mudra Vidya Mudanova Bhujava. A man may be very wise and learned, but he cannot understand a Vaisnava, what he does, and how he acts. As for example, you see, Gauru Kishore Das, Babaji Maharas, he does, he used to does his bhajan in such a place, a, a vulnerable place where people pass too, in the great sad. So anybody can say, what well, person Chahu is, is in such an abominable place where people pass too? There is a sadhu which lives there. You see, it is a great sadhu, Paramahansa. So how does one cannot understand it? So there is another example you will find <coughs> that when Sri Vedananda Thakur, the great Vaishnava, when Sri Vedananda Thakur, he used to go to bazaar and purchase fish. You understand? Purchase fish and puts that fish, cutting the fish, in front of his cut, a scubia, in the sun. And people say, what is this? Is a piece of man? <laughs> it's a dry piece. <laughs> Why he does so? Because people will come there and stop in his bosom. It's a nasty place, so I don't know. We won't go there. Bajanandi? Bajanandi. He's a Bajanandi. He's a Vishwadas Baba. He's also Bajanandi. We are Bajanandi. They don't want the common people to go there and to stop. So they do like that. Mm-hmm. So outwardly one cannot understand. Similarly, that the Sundarik Vidyan is this. You see, the most famous. Sundarik Vidyan is also a great sadhu. But outwardly, he looks like a bogey. You understand? A bogey. He sits in a nice cushion, very costly. Uh, he has put on all golden rings in all his fingers. You understand? And uh, he lives in a very palatable and the palatial dwelling. Uh, it's very palatable dishes. Uh, it's good food. And uh, it gives palm, yes. And spits this pan, very nice in a pot. Mm, that's pan igdan, you say, is made of gold. It's made of gold. It's spits. In, in pot, you see. Such a gold. It looks like a gold. The Greeks are the ones who in the doctor. Taking the Bhagavad Pandit with him, went to see this big Kundari Vidyanidhi. He told the Bhagavad Pandit that we will go and see a great sadhu, this is the Bhagavad Pandit, and he said, Kundari Vidyanidhi, please come. The Bhagavad Pandit went with him, but the Bhagavad Pandit saw all these outward things. So he thought, in himself, in his mind, that is a bogey. Now, oh, if the Mukunda God should tell me that he is a God, he just thought of like that. Mukunda hmm. could understand that this is the uh, thought of uh, the God of the Pandit. So, immediately he uttered that famous verse. Consumer Bhatam, Aho Bhakti Jas Tamakara Putam Jim Hataya, Abhasati, Lady Gati, that to Jita, Kamba Dayaru, Sadam Jam. Love was water, consumer Bhatam. As soon as you have done this part, so Kundari Gudanidi, 
bhaar came upon me. So he rolled on the ground and kicked all these cushions. He ran about him, tears rolled down. So in the bhaar stands, he said, shh. And when he went to service, he held himself assembled. So he said, really, so he said, shh. But I have committed an offense by thinking otherwise. So how can I be removed from this offense? Offensive thing. I must accept him as my spiritual master. I must be his disciple. I must be disciplined. I must accept some punishment from him. Therefore, I will be removed from such offense. So he became his disciple. I remember hearing that um, Hindu Vijanidi was Radharani's father in Krishna. Srinivasa, Radharani's father is Lushabhan. Same personality? No. No? Lushabhan. In Krishna, isn't it? Yes, Srinivasa, Radharani's father is Lushabhan. Nothing like that. No, Chaitanya Vida, he comes as Pandavi Vijanidi. That's what I've heard. And Radharani is Gadadha. So. Ah, Radharani is Gadadha. That's so, all right. So, but Gadadha is not. Uh, is, that's not so. Oh, uh, accepting him as spiritual master, this uh, spiritual master's father. You say that. Yeah, but I heard that they were the same personality. Go, go, go to this. You can all around this Divika I have. I will see it. I will see it. In Bengal? Yes, it's Bengali group. It's Sanskrit. It's written in Sanskrit. As it is translated in Bengali, it comes from the Holy Art. I have to see it. Go to one of this Divika I have. So you can find out if. So yes, I will find out. I don't know this. I will find out. Who wrote the book on Ganesh? Well, it is a Kavikarna Pura. Dilla Mughal Thakur. Kavikarna Pura. Kavikarna Pura. How does he know these things? Because he is a great devotee. He wrote, he knows everything. He is so manifest. He has manifest. You said you had said in the lecture that Sarup Dhamadal is the original Mahajan in that Pacific line. Can you explain that? I was wondering the same. Uh, Sarup Dhamadal Goswami is uh, dear to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You understand? Ramananda and Sarup Dhamadal are very dear to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In our career, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we are discussing about all this. Tattva, Zrava, Tattva, Kushnu, Tattva, very confidential Tattva. We are discussing with them, Radhamananda and Shurdhanda Goswami. And Shurdhanda Goswami, Radhamananda, I think, he never accepted any desire. No such mention is there. But Sri Sudhanda Goswami accepts this action. So, Sri Parampara comes. Do you understand? And Raghunata Sri Swami came to Mahaprabhu. And I reminded you of Raghunata Sri Swami to to take care of this. You understand? So he is known as Surupir Raghu. You understand? Surupir Raghu. 
Znam nas širite dolje. Znam, da sam tam drugo svami, dar po nas mahazem, so sam disiplik saksesan tam svami. Dar po se, iz nula mahazem, sam znam drugo svami. This is directly in contact with those time to be heard. Nar zaitan mi nevo akseptiv jeni disajt. Did you accept? 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 But is never meant to go. Do charge you. You know me see charge you. Understand? That Sarvendra Goswami accepts. Whoever first comes to Satan Mahaprabhu, he must come through Sarvendra Goswami. Sarvendra Goswami must first examine. Then he comes with some writing, anything else. If Sarvanda Goswami will allow, then he will go. He will go to Krishna Mahaprabhu, why not? Therefore, we say Sarvanda Goswami is no Mahajan, not just a Mahajan in this life. Therefore, we say, let's never say so. Yes. She said she felt six Goswamis initiate the Lord Chaitanya. Not initiated. They have been taught by him. He carried. Most famous is, uh, I mean, say, Rupa and Samantha. He changed the name. He gave a name changing. Oh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu changed the name. Yes, Rupa and Sanatana. Yes. Yeah. They have to know Muslim names. Rupa and Sanatana. Yes. Yeah. They have to know Muslim names. Sagar Malik. Davir. Yes. Davir Khar Sagar Malik. Sarvim Allah Rasan Sah. Muslim. Over. They are thinking and so on. They are Muslims, Javanas. They are not going to Bharadanda. You see, in Puri. We are not qualified persons to go there. It's so humble. So, Rupa Goswami was the disciple of Sanatana Goswami? Rupa Sanatana, two brothers. Jeev Samadhi Goswami is a disciple of Rupa Goswami. But Rupa Goswami can say that Sanatan Goswami is Rupa Goswami. Big brother. Yes, elder brother. Elder brother. Who did they take picture for? It's not so handsome about that big chap. First part is Sikh chap or something. They were all instructed by Satan Mahal. They are going to the greatest people of Chaitanya Mahatma. Chaitanya Mahatma is there. And they are instructed by Chaitanya Mahatma. Chaitanya Mahatma is not mentioned anywhere that Chaitanya Mahatma is a big lucky son of the instructor, instructor, seeker. She said, because six Goswamis only yeah. can, apparently accept six Guru, yeah. so nowadays modern devotees may say, well, there's no need to take Diksha Guru because six Goswamis only accept six Guru. 
ትምህርት ለሲካጎሩ ሲካጎሩ እንዲካጎሩ ኢኮል አምቦታ ሪኩዌ ደሮ ሲስ ወሰን ኢዛክሰንተር ሲካፎን ስሙ ማሃፕሮ አጅን ወሰን ወሰን ሲካፎን ወሰን አንታን ሲቻል ዲቺ ዲቻ ሳንቲም ያስ ወንሰን ደሃብቻ ደሃብቻ ወሰን አጥፋሽ አዚፍ አዚዩ ነው ወጥብኝ ታቁ ዲቻው ዲቢን ያርዱ ማን our parampara is sikha parampara dikha parampara is not dikha parampara then bhakti siddhanta saraswati goswami dikha is kamula agar i swear to that dikha is not so these are some of the arguments that these devotees are giving you know saying minimizing diksha saying no need for reinitiation these are some of the arguments that would use like Vishnu Chakravarti and Narottam, the Narottam Lotus type four, they were contemporaries and one of them was a spiritual master, although a hundred years between. So they use that analogy saying, well, if we have Prabhupada to be the spiritual master, everyone and no need to take picture. They use that, that same argument. They charge them with that. No need. One can say there's no need. What, what about they say, they say that um, Vishnu Chakravarti is the same, now it's under the same rules as Guru? I don't know. One or the other. Exactly. He accepted him as Guru, as a spiritual master, although maybe 100 years between. You see, Prabhupada has said, Dikya Guru and Sikha Guru are same. Dikya Guru may be Sikha Guru, Sikha Guru may be Dikya Guru. You understand? And both are needed, even by some philosophy, is discussions are there are jibbo swami and other bo swami they are discussed on this thing and special jibbo swami is discussed elaborately in this what is on the earth this time we discuss that in a proper paper in a session paper you see not discussed in there it is needed primarily you see we give this analogy by <coughs> Dikha means Samundha Stapam, is uh, establishing relationship. Jiva Goswami says, Dikha Jnana Jata Dukyat, Papasya Sankhyam, Dikha Dikha Prakta, Dikha Sikha Ita Tukhoviti, it is stated. Uh, Samundha Jnana is now, it's not only other mantra, the sun, Jnana is imparted also, knowledge is imparted, that establishes a relationship with the Supreme Personality body. You understand? And that is proof also, mantra. Getting mantra, means Dikha, is getting Krupa. You understand? Masi, from the Guru, from Mahajana, the Mahaji, that's why Jiva, then establish his uh, eternal relationship with Krishna. You understand? That is Dikya. You understand? And Sikha, Dikya means you are now related. An example is given there in the Jesus Tamito. And if your leg is dangling in the air, it is not fixed. So Dikya means fixation of the leg. Someone must have them, establishing relationship. The young leg is now fixed on the ground, a broom by one. You understand? But you have to move. You never stand like a statue. So how to move? That is Sikha Guru's business. He teaches that thing. So both are Vita. You understand? Sikha and Dikha, both are Vita. It's 
not a fact that only one thing is written, no, both are written. So sometimes the Shikha Guru, the, so it is said, Shikha Guru may be many, but Dikha Guru is one, is not more than one. When Dikha Guru is, Dikha Guru falls down, then there is also instruction that one may accept another Dikha Guru mantra again, because that mantra is polluted. It will never work. It will never be effective. The Shastra is there. Shastra says so. Can you excuse one minute? Can you speak to Minoria? Can you speak to Minoria? One minute. I have one minute. What is that? So you want to continue with your saying, but... Huh? She's just getting the paper. I'm going to put it up there. How about Diksha and Hussain? Yeah. You were saying about Diksha and Siksha and Alain. Uh. Are you saying Diksha and Siksha are equal in both of them? Yes, equal. Equal. One cannot think that one is superior and one is inferior. That is a prince. Both are equal. And both will be. Uh, given respect and worship equal, Sikha Guru and Dikha Yes. So, the position of Prabhupada's uh, disciples, uh, they, they need um, some Siksha from uh, someone. Uh, 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 I was like asking about like the set, like the word in Burijan. Buddhism. Yeah, he's very fond of you. When I told him I was coming here, mm. he was really encouraging me. Mm. And he was telling me that he thought that most of the disciples are in the similar position I was in, where they also need to take shelter of some Siksha Guru. Yes. And he felt that most Prabhupada disciples in our movement won't go back to God in this lifetime because they're a little independent and they can't take shelter. So it's, it's required that a disciple who's accepted Srila Prabhupada, who may be following, if he doesn't accept the six year guru, he has it. Yes. So, can someone accept the GBC, the local GBC, as a six year guru? Yes, he is qualified. Yes. And these devotees that first initiated by Prabhupada, like that devotee Jet Barrett, and he takes second from you. You see, he had taken seven from Bhavananda. Bhavananda? Bhavananda. Bhavananda, yeah. And so he Bhavananda fell down, he took from me. So it's, it's required to take second initiation from me. In other words, can he take second initiation from someone giving him on behalf of Prabhupada if he, he's a full touch Prabhupada disciple? Or is he your no, disciple? You see, he is disciple of Prabhupada for now. He has taken her name from Prabhupada. Yes. And mantra from me. So you decide what means of my mantra. Yes. yes. And Prabhupada. Is Harinam Guru. Prabhupada is Harinam Guru. And Mantra Guru. A real Dikha. Mantra Dikha means real Dikha. That's Harinam. I remember some devotees. First initiated by Prabhupada, and they had taken from Jaitya to second. Yeah. And when Jaitya to left, these yeah. devotees they went spoke with Tamar Krishna Maharaj, yeah. and Tamar Krishna Maharaj had said in Mayapur, maybe 1983 or 82, yeah. maybe 83, that there's no need to take reinitiation for second initiation, and you can consider he gave it to you on behalf of Prabhupada. Is that correct? No, no. not correct. It's not. Yeah. Now I'm going to read it. You got the paper. Yes. And what time there is some confusion? So some devotees were, like this devotee, Purushottama, mm-hmm. when he was Chandra. Ah, Purushottama. He's in a similar situation. Ah, ah, I know. Mm-hmm. And he, he was one who was thinking of taking initiation from you. Yeah. But he wasn't, it's not so very clear. No, not so clear, yes. I know. Would you like me to encourage him in any direction? He knows me very well. 
instructions for me. Uh, I know you've given me enough instructions uh, when I go to England. Just keep my mind to the point that I'm working some matcha and sending. How, how often should I send once a month or once a month? Send a send part of me. Well, part of me. Once every three months, it's a large amount, big, big amount. So I put it, I put it in bank, yes. and then every three months I have a sum. Yeah, you may take me bank account number, I have to bank, it is very easy yeah. to send money. I've already, I have that. I, I like it. I really feel this is an easy way to get the most <laughs> I have to do something anyway, so if I do it for you, for you and Parapat, yeah. I feel like we'll get some mercy. Yeah, that's the process. You must uh, directly connect, you cannot directly connect with Parapat. Those are not his disciples. Mm-hmm. Uh, it should be changed, this week. Change. That's the other voice, not process. Yes. I see many, many leaders that I'm moving, even in England, I won't mention names, but good devotees. But like a few years ago, they had a different conception about Guru, and now they're changing, and like back and forth. Yes, yes. Not yes. very clear. Not clear. Yes. Um, how can I judge? I know it brings the scripture, we judge who's advanced devotee, and who's not so advanced. But if we're preaching to someone, and we want to introduce them to different persons, maybe for, as a guru, how can we personally discriminate who's, who can we recommend? You see him, one thing. Don't discriminate. Just to say. You understand? These are the symptoms of uh, Uttamadikari. You must accept Uttamadikari. You understand? And these are the symptoms. Mm. That is taking Shastra. Mm. So, it is up to you, the person concerned. You judge yourself. I won't say, go there, go there, go there. I just say about the symptoms. You judge yourself, and it is your personal affair. Yeah. Don't be biased by somebody. And you be convinced. And accept it. That is a process. Because it is a uh, relationship based on love, not by any other thing. Love means spontaneous, it comes from the heart. You may by force him, by convert him, or anything else. That won't work. That will never do. So if, if there's a devotee that, that accepts. Someone is guru, and the guru may be only Madhya Madhikari. So he will lead up to that point. But the Madhya Madhikari guru can also advance, and they both advance. No, he guru is Madhya Madhikari, so he will lead his disciple up to that point of guru, and he has reached. Not beyond that. But he can, he can also advance. He can, he can advance if he accepts him from a Vikari. But a proper disciple, if he's gradually elevating himself, he will become automatic. The Upas disciples will deliver themselves if they take, if they accept Uttama Vikari or associate it, associate with some Uttama Vikari, then it is possible. How is it possible that automatically they will be liberated? 
seems very sad. But the misconception of so many private disciples that I've got God, but I don't need anyone else. And they don't advance more beyond that stage. Yes, yeah, because they've developed some sort of pride thereby. You understand? Mahaprabhu Sikha is not the Sunni We don't need anything. This means this is pride. One must, he will be very learning, will conversant, everything. But he should do. Pose like that and say like that, no, I don't know anything. I am an ignorant fool. I need help. Always. This is the show I teach you. Nobody can say, I don't need anything. That's right. If I receive such something, it will go out. If that, this pride is there. Yes. When we pray to Lord Balaram for spiritual strength, so when, when, what would we pray to Lady Subhadra for? We're praying to Lord Baladev to give us spiritual strength. What would be a good prayer to Lady Subhadra? What are we praying for? Mercy of Lady Subhadra, what are we praying for? Subhadra is energy. Energy. Balaram is energetic. Shakti. Yes. To Subhadra. Give me energy, spiritual energy, to which I make a You must get your mercy or energy. How can I move? Your son. Yes. It's like, it's like we approach Krishna through Radharani. Oh, yes, Radharani is energy. So do we approach Jagannath through? Yes, Sugadra. Yeah. Jagannath through Sugadra. Sugadra is energy. Yes. Jagannath is Krishna, then different from Krishna, but there is no Radharani. There is no Radharani. Jagannath's Leela is Aishwarya Leela, is opulence, is Vyarka Leela, Purkhetra Leela, Prabhavarka. You see? Mm. So Jagannath is with the Bhavarama and the sister, Suhadra, Suhadra is energy. Therefore, Vatsavatra means going to Vrindavan associate with the gopis and gopas, the dragon, the mate in Kurukhetra, and say, yes, Kurukhetra, on eclipse day, and they mate, both the jadavas and the gopas. So they drive, Krishna, please come. We don't want to see your this king or royal dress. Krishna is king of Dharaka. Dharaka is the king of Dharaka. The royal royal. We don't want to see you in that dress. Go where? Dhanuka. That's who said. Now, please come to Dhanuka. This is the flag. Dhanuka, that's the Vatsuraka. That we discussed on that day, that's what that day. Yes. <laughs> you see? Mm. That Mahaprabhu has said this thing. It's himself Jagannath. Mahaprabhu is teaching. <laughs> Like the 
He said, just like the gopis and Madhavani are dragging Krishna back to Vrindavan. What? Gopas and gopis. Our men and the Kahar women. What? She says, she asks, who's dragging Krishna back to Dwarka? Nobody. That Akura took to Mathura, then from Mathura. He went to Dwarka when Dwarasana attacked on Mathura. Nobody tried. <laughs> All right. You're going to go there? I will go. Oh, thank you. I mean, this one is I will make a decision based on my health tomorrow, and then then I will find out about getting a train. Yes. Kilo. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, I should stay here. <laughs> Similar, same thing happened to Vrindavan Bihari. He went out to Vrindavan Bihari. So severe. That's so severe. <laughs> then saying, I was saying, you see, Vrindavan Bihari had the same disease and Ravana Bhoto had the same disease. When they get out of Bhubaneswar, they got up with the Tavidus. <laughs> but as long as you are here, you are safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as I follow what you tell me, your order, then I'm more safe. <laughs> this is purification from many lifetimes and one minimized. Not my karma. Yeah, that's your karma, definitely, um, but you are not completely free from karma, because your surrender is not complete. Surrender will be complete, then no karma finished. Hmm. But it's minimized karma? Minimized. Much. The more you surrender, the more that is done. I want to surrender. Yeah. <laughs> complete surrender, then completely gone. John. He sits a mantra over the water and then puts his shank and pours it and the yellow comes out. When he's doing it, I'm thinking that this is Krishna working through the demigods and through him. I just have a few questions. If, were you having a conversation? I just have a few questions. Okay. First of all, I wanted to know um, if the devotee forget he's traveling and he forgets that it's a kadashi and he eats grains, how, how to rectify? See, unfortunately, I wanted to follow Mirjal on Bhima Kadashi, the last thing, kadashi before last, and we had some grains on the train, and I was eating a lot of grains and. The, I didn't know it was a Kadashi until the next day. And <laughs> does the spiritual yeah. master suffer for the reaction? Oh, yes. Why? Well, yes. You should do know it. You should have your calendar marked it. And you will see it. So how how to rectify? Generally, the next day they passed. Next day? Yes. But it's not a habit. By chance, means. It's not a habit. You should be conscious, you should have the calendar with you. I had it, but I didn't look. Everything you should see. Then the goddess is falling. You understand? This is not a habit. I'm sorry. I wanted to know if it's possible. Um, I, I feel that if I try learning Bengali, I'll get caught up and I'll never learn Oriya. 
<laughs> would it be okay if, if I learned Oriya first? One thing of it is you can do both things. There is no difference between Bengali and Oriya. And you will find many books in Bengali. Vaishnava. Just one book. Bengali language. Because I had one book we picked up, Learn Oriya in 30 days. But, but if you'd say it's better to learn, I mean. And because Vaishnava, the farm books are alive in Bengal. They are for us. It just seems difficult if I have to learn Bengali and learn Oriya. And then you try to learn slokas and try to read Prabhupada's books. And yes. No, much difference between Bengali and Buddha. Alphabet is the same. Just some difference in writing. Buddha is like Sattva. Bengali is like Sattva. But the speaking. Huh? Speaking is basically uh, the same. Speaking is some difference there. Speaking. But we should love, read books, we want to speak. I, I can understand Bengali, I can read Bengali books, but I can speak Bengali. You can't speak no. I can understand. I can read Bengali books, but I can speak Bengali. That's the reason you Yeah, the other day you were saying that my illness indicates that uh, that I'm not completely surrendered. So my first question is, what what is? I mean, my understanding is surrender means taking the order of the spiritual master yeah. above everything as life and soul. Ah, that is surrender. Yeah. What else is surrender? <laughs> Asha. That is what Gurudev has said, what has come out from the lips of Gurudev. Ara, that is life and soul. No other thing is there. And don't speculate, don't add your own views into to it. You understand? Follow as it is. But what if we're trying to follow the spiritual master's order? And maybe subtly we, we're not aware that we're not fully following or fully surrendering. Yeah. Yeah. That how, it all. how to know? In other words, how to search out whether we want to surrender, we know that this is the correct process. Correct process means just accept it as it is. You don't uh, add something to it, don't subtract something from it. You understand? Don't add your own speculation to it. In other words, you understand? Just follow as it is. Like, I'm just trying to understand that you've given me some instructions, and I think that I'm trying to surrender and, and meditate. But what am I doing wrong that I that I'm getting illness and I'm, I'm not surrendering? In other words, how can I analyze my situation to improve my surrender? Yes, that by practice. You should practice. Conditioned soul, he has some speculation. You understand? They're all like. Do they have said this thing? I'll see when opportunity comes, or I feel like that, something that's like this. Mm -hmm. So something subtle, subtle in the heart? Subtle in the heart, isn't it? Uh, conditions so create problems in mind. Conditioned mind, uh, material mind, Create problems. Yes. Actually, there are no problems at all. 
which are subtle, like desires not to surrender, independent material desires, which we can't see on the gross platform. How to It's very subtle. Yes. So how to bring them out so you can give them up, you can become purified. Only by association with the sadhus, your devotees, your devotees, listening to Srimad Bhagavatam from them, ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತಂ No other way. So constantly here and be greedy enough to hear. Develop greed. How can I hear more and more? How can I have this association sadhu more and more? This greed should be developed. Yes. Yes, it is. Tadu Sangye Krishna Nama Imatra Chai. ಸಂಸಾರ ಜಿನಿತ ಆರ್ ಕೋನ್ ವಸ್ತು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಧುಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೊಲೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದೇಮ್ ಚಾಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇಮ್ ಅರ್ ಮಾಮ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಕಾಂಕರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ the sense of this material world you understand very easy to conduct our commit no other way is there <laughs> to become eager you have to have some taste yes so how to get that taste to become more eager you will develop taste by association also when you the impurities will be purified the taste will be developed you understand and that is the only way to purify the impurities by hearing then next thing comes the taste 
You understand? Hmm? We have a very common saying in our Oriya. Ruchu na ruchu kha pitta. Ruchu na ruchu pad gitta. You see? The neem, neem leaf, bitter, very. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. But the saying is that, though it is bitter, take it habitually. It has good effect. Hmm? But uh, similarly, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, hmm? you can't understand it. You are such, such an ignorant fool. You have no education or knowledge or understanding. Still you go on reading. In course of time, you, you can understand or you develop taste for it. Like that story of one ignorant man. Yeah. Maybe you can say that story. And he was reading Bhagavad Gita. And ah, ah, in Chaitanya Charitamrita. I was crying. He was crying. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met him. Hmm? While he was reading Bhagavad Gita, he was crying. But he couldn't understand anything. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, why are you crying? Hmm? Because from his reading it is understood that he didn't know Sanskrit. His pronunciation is defective, like that. Hmm? Still he is reading and crying. He said to Mahaprabhu, why are you crying? He said, while I read this, I see that Parthasarthi, Krishna, becomes a chariotier, a chariot of a zoom, and was driving a chariot. Hmm? I see it. Then Mahaprabhu embraced him. Oh, you are the first one. <laughs> person. Wait for Gita. You understand it very well. <laughs> you see, yes. Such power in him. So it just seems like in the neophyte stage that if we don't have a taste, we're just doing it mechanically. Yeah. I say the taste will develop by association. This is the only association. Association is the most important thing. That's why you develop taste. Last night um, I was thinking of what you had said about associating that one devotee can't make so much advancement only by Prabhupada's books. He needs living association. And then I was reading um, about Juga Maharaj how he was praying for the association of, of devotees. And then Prabhupada was saying that one purport about that one can live, one who thinks he's going to live out, make advancement outside of the international side of Krishna consciousness is in hallucination. Yes. And at the end of the purport, Prabhupada was saying something like, um, he was saying that one, one needs the personal association of pure devotee to make yes. advancement. That's mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Most important thing. Directly hearing. So hearing is hearing from the lips is more mm-hmm. important than reading. Yes. More important. More important. Thank you.
I learned Bengali from books, books. by reading books, not by associating with the people. <laughs> Speaking Bengali is something different. So I should just learn to read Bengali. Yes, because we need books to read, not to speak with the Bengali <laughs> people. <laughs> can you recommend one book I can bring with me to the West? Yeah. A Bengali book? Yeah, how to learn Bengali books are available. <laughs> so, I mean, so once I'm learning, I can start reading. Yeah, the books are there. Some scripture. Yeah, books are there. Where? No, in the shop, in the bookshop. In the... What do I mean, like a transcendental? It will better to inquire at Calcutta. I'm not going. To... Not going. Oh, inquire here, yeah. then be available. This morning you caught me really off guard because I, I came in the middle of the verse and I was looking for the verse while you were reading the purport and I wasn't listening and, and then when you asked the question like <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I have not you don't know the past. No and it's purport, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hadn't looked at the verse or the purport and I didn't oh. I couldn't remember the details of that question. Mm -hmm. Ah, you came late. You put me right on the spot. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe I can talk with you again. I can talk with you again tomorrow or something. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I was uh, now looking over this road along this Deepika, that you are saying that Jagai and Mathai, they were the and the oh, really? Yes. Because for three times they came as demons. Because, yes. Three times they came as demons because they were cursed for three lives. And they were killed by the Supreme Lord. 
But this time, when Mahaprabhu came, they were not lost. Voluntarily they came to associate with Mahaprabhu and get prayed. They were Jagai. They voluntarily. They were not lost. So, my second question in regards to that is that means they no longer were gatekeepers, they were elevated to Goloka? They were gatekeepers. Go, go keep This time they plentifully came and they associated with the map. But they were elevated to um, train, they got trained, so that means no longer gatekeepers and they... No, they are giants. Still. They don't get Because that was, that, they, that same post was. So someone in Vaikuntha can have, being like Goloka, Vrindavan... Lakshmi. Lakshmi. Lakshmi in Vaikuntha. Isn't it? That lucky. Lucky, yeah. And here in the associate of Gauras, they are mixed with so many portions. So many portions. As you see, Ramananda Bhai. Three are mixed in Raman. You understand? One is Arjun, Pandava, Arjun, and uh, another is Lavita Sakhi, uh, another is Arjuni Sakhi is also there. Three are mixed. Arjuni Sakhi? Arjuni. Yes, this is in Bengali? In this is in India. In concert in India. Oh. Three are mixed in Ramananda Rai. Is, does that mean that? Yes. Lalita, Arjunia, and Pandavya Arjuna. Who is Arjunia? Arjunia is a gopi. One of the gopis. Lalita is a beloved sakti out of eight. Eight sakis. Lalita is one of eight. And Arjuna is another gopi. And Pandava Arjuna. Three are mixed in Ramananda. You see? <laughs> Does that mean that, that he's expanded himself in three different forms? Having different relationships at one time? Yes, three different forms. One form is the Ramananda Rai. Three are. Portions came from these three and mixed them. So yes. that means Jayan Vijay possibly could also be in Goloka with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu now? Present. And in one portion there, you go in the keeper. Maybe like that. Then the mansion here. It's Hmm. This time they are not far. I always had this question and I was bewildered and I couldn't understand. Because they are tops and they are voluntarily accepted, they opted for three times. Otherwise they would have spent seven lives. That's clearly and some there and some And three times they are killed by the Lord. They have fought with the Lord. This time, the volunteers, I thought of yes, there must be some sense. So I looked at this book. <laughs> I would like to get a copy of this book. <laughs> I looked at this book. And that's also true that Pundarika Vijani is to show now. Yes, that's all. Yes. This is our founding. Actually, the spiritual master means path. 
Vitramasu means father, spiritual father. <laughs> That's the sense. And yes, I thought of yes. Must be something there when we are half from some harm. Must be something. So I looked at it. And it means that he has fallen down. Why? There's not three lives. You mentioned in our white folk time. So if they voluntarily came, that means they purposely pose themselves as demons? Yes. Purposely. Like, but possibly. Like all but possibly. Like just Leela acting. Yeah, acting. But it's not yoga maya? It's not like they were covered by yoga maya? Or they were... Leela is manifested by Juru Maya. That's all right. <laughs> so they became be- temporarily bewildered also? Yes, temporarily bewildered. Inconceivable. Last time, so the Supreme Lord is inconceivable. We cannot conceive it. Thank you for calling me in. Yes, because I, asked, I was thinking of that thing. <laughs> when you the rest of some question, I said this clearly three times, three lives there, thought, and they were demons and killed. And this purport also speaks clearly, isn't it? Yes. They went back to their former post. Mm. White folk, must be something there. When the devotees say, it must have something, so I looked at it. <laughs> Maybe someone had, had read this and, and yes, yes, in class. Yes. Ah, in class. I thought I read it somewhere, but I can't remember where I read it. Just like something that I thought, like I, I thought was like this for many years, and I, I don't remember where exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> I may be leaving tomorrow evening. I like it. Uh, went to Puri for me to make, you know, um, Krishna Das. Oh. Uh, Rao Krishna. Uh-huh. I don't know, well, I don't know his first name, but Bhakta Krishna uh-huh. Das. Oh. Who does typing. Typing, that boy. Yeah. Oh, Rao, Rao. Rao Krishna uh-huh. So he's gone to Puri for us because I'm not feeling well enough to go. And he's getting us um, some Chain railway to get to tomorrow evening. I'm going to Matura and Vrindavan, maybe three or four days in Delhi and back to England. Thank you so much for your association and your mercy. I'd like to send you that um, copies of Prabhupada's letters so maybe I could bring it with a devotee like. Um, Krishna Shila or something. Ah, so, send it. So it seems like you should have these books. Ah. You're very, very poor, you don't have so many. No, so many books, yeah. <laughs> Some books I have, not so much. Some books are there in Samira, so Yeah, four. Four books. Ah, I see. <laughs> I pray for me that I can yes, learn yes. some sh- some slow, cause I, Yes, definitely. I feel like really embarrassed when you ask me questions, <laughs> and I know I should know, but I just forget it. <laughs> and all I feel is yes. So foolish. Thank you. Thank you. I need to go. Yes. I get all your mercy somehow or even one drop. Yes. Follow my instructions. Listen to this. Yes. Read through our books. Yeah. Chant my specific names. Yeah. Go on. Collecting. Go on. Yes, project. No buts, not for it. My Guru Maharaj is sending a virtue to me, help me in this project. Yes. Yeah, he is a man. You understand? 
I hope you all has get this blessings. We will always engage in his service. You understand? Don't miss a movement, single movement. First to my I will catch you. Always engaged in the service of Guru and Gauranga. So everything in your life. You pay it. Doing Krishna coming through Guru, spiritual strength. When when you empower that strength, Maya will empower flesh. Maya for good boy. Otherwise Maya is very strong. Very difficult. All right, I hope you do nice service. Whenever opportunity comes, come here and always keep contact with me. That is connection. You understand? Regular correspondence. How, how do I know that um, you give me instructions to collect, but if I'm doing some service for the temple, like yes. mornings, for the afternoon? All right, you must do it because when you are at temple, you must render some service to the temple. Otherwise, to show you get the blessings of the Vaishnava. Yes, yes. Otherwise, I can live in the temple. Temple of Prudence. But we live out. We will live outside. But we, we will do some service to the deities. Yes. Better to live among the devotees. Outside is not so good. I mean, an apartment outside, but coming to the temple every morning. Yeah, yeah. I have seen in like many Vrastas going outside, coming every day yes. to the temple, attend classes, attend narrow papers, and attend some service. <coughs> so we're doing service. Do you send Lakshmi and doing service there and it's all equally accepted by Krishna? Yes. Whatever, everyone for you, according to time, place and circumstances, you may do it. Let me inform and get it sanctioned by the spiritual master. So I can get, when I get some definite schedule, I can write and let you know exactly what we're both doing. I just don't know how to thank you for, for all the mercy you've given us. It's beyond my comprehension, really. I don't understand it. No need of thank you. If you really follow my instructions, and be a devotee, and serve Prabhupada, I'll be very happy. That I want. Thank you so much. Yes. Do you have any questions? Yes. Alright? Yes. Don't. Control your mind. Don't capture the wicked mind. You understand? Otherwise you cannot make great this part of the personal service. You understand? I think my Guru Maharaj will serve his blessings on you, on both of you. So do my service, his service. All like he says, time is. She has questions and she will write to you also. Yes, you both write me. Thank you so much. I'm hoping to see you get better and, and come to England. Yeah. Devotees will take shelter of you. All right. Pray to Krishna. I am very eager also. I'm glad I'm coming here. Excuse me? Coming here, I may go out. Where was it? 1990. 1990. 90. I think so. Yeah. This is the best, best. Let me. I'll go to you. So, 
Thank you.